Hi, I'm Lee. I'm the FP&A Technology Director at Revelwood. This is the third part of a three-part series designed to show you how to create cubes in planning analytics. In the first session, we went through the steps that are required to create the components called dimensions of a cube. In our second session, we put those components together, we built a cube, we loaded data, and we built a calculation. In this third session, we're gonna utilize the results of that and we're gonna build a dashboard. The way that we create dashboards in planning analytics is similar to everything else that we've done so far. Drag and drop and use wizards. So the first component of the dashboard that we want to look at in this particular case are our numbers. Let's create a list, let's create some kind of a grid that's going to show us the results of our sales commission. The way that we're going to do that is I'm going to right click on the name of the cube and I'm going to add a new view. And what add a new view does is it brings the data into the system and it gives us the ability to manipulate how do we want to look at it. Well, we've got a lot of data here. We don't have a lot of real estate. I'm going to bring things down a little bit. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And everything that I'm doing, you can see, is I'm doing just by drag and drop. Let's say that we only want to look at the quarters associated with 2019. I'm going to shrink them up. So therefore, now I'm looking at all four quarters of 2019. I'll do the exact same thing in 2020. And what this gives me is it gives me a relatively simplistic view that's going to show me here are the data points that we've loaded into the system. Here is a quick analysis of sales and commission by quarter. It's taken up a lot of blank space. I'm going to shrink it up. Once again, all I'm going to do is wizard based drag and drop. I now have the ability to take this set of numbers and give it a visualization. I could click on this blue bar and I can choose the option to duplicate the exact same set of numbers. And by duplicating the exact same set of numbers, now I can see two sets of data. What Plan Analytics now allows me to do is determine how do I want to look at that set of data. I could click on the same blue bar and I can choose an option for to, cha to change visualization. This changing of the visualization allows me to make it into, instead of a, a numeric exploration, it gives me the ability to look at various types of charts. And the wizard has intelligence built into it to determine what kinds of charts make sense. If I'm looking at two dimensions, it'll give me bars and columns. If I'm looking at geography, it may give me maps. It gives me the opportunity to have different types of analyses. For this particular one, let's make it a simple line chart. The same set of data now appears in two different methods. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do drag and drop again to make it look a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. So we now have two separate sets of data. And the goal of a dashboard is for me to merge them together. So now we want to take a look at this report by sales rep. So we'll be able to set up a selector so that I can pick one specific sales rep at a time. The way that I create that selector so I simply go to the dimension, go to the component that lists my piece of people, and I drag it out. And when I let go of it by dragging it outside of that box, I now have the ability to simply click on it and see my list of people. So we'll pretty this up a little bit. There's a lot of titles, a lot of real estate that we don't want to use. I'm going to shrink up some of the components. I'm going to make this a little bit wider. And now the final step. The final step for us is to sync these together. I want to be able to pick a sales rep and have both of these update. And the way that we're going to do that is we're simply going to synchronize. I want to synchronize all of my changes. I want to synchronize all the changes on each one. And now, as I change my sales rep, I can pick Fred. And the data changes and my chart changes. I can pick Wilma. The data changes and the chart changes. And the final step is to give this a better name. Instead of calling this sheet one, I can click on the name of the sheet. I can edit the title. I'm going to call it sales rep analysis. And I've created my dashboard. I now have the ability to add new co components in there where I can change the color code. I can get rid of lines. I can zero suppress. I can add more charts. But I now have the flexibility just via the drag and drop approach where I can use these components and continue on my dashboard. So what have we seen in this session? We can use the results of the cube that we previously built to quickly and easily build dashboards simply by clicking on the name of the cube, 
dragging pieces together and synchronizing them. This gives us the functionality to build any forms of input templates, any forms of reports, or any forms of dashboards that we want to use based on the data we've loaded into the planning analytics model. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you want to learn more, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one, or you can check out our website at rebelwood.com.